So that's the first story. And the second story I will tell you another day. Because here, today we have a special uh, julian powder here. And this julian powder is connected with another story. Uh, maybe I'll tell you quickly. <laughs> <laughs> so one married man, his dream was to meditate in the caves. But he had a family and you know, wife and kids and these things. So he's kind of unhappy husband because he had had the dream to go to a cave and meditate. And one day his wife kicked him out, you know. He said, now you go, I don't want you anymore, just go, you know. I know you want to go somewhere. And then he was so happy. When wife kicked him out, he said, oh, thank you, you know. Finally, you free me. And then he went to the cave, he stayed, you know, that was his dream to meditate in the caves. So he stayed in the cave many months, but his problem was he finished his food, you know, mm -hmm. right? You know, Tibetan, uh, all these yogis, they prefer the food, they bring zamba or dried yak meat. Mm -hmm. They even have like dried cheese, dried yogurt. So he finished his food and then he didn't know what to do. But then he had a good idea. His idea is, he said, why humans, we need a special food. And why wild animals, they can survive in the nature, and why not humans? You see, he had a good idea. And then he was thinking how, how the deers, you know, the, the Himalayan deers, or antelopes, how they can survive in the nature. So he's absorbing them, and then he saw they are eating some special flowers. And some deers, they are not eating so much, they are eating some special flowers, and then they are just, you know, relaxing and so on. Then he thought, oh, maybe this flower is good for me too. So he collected this flower and he was eating. And he felt very good. You know, he was not hungry, he felt very good. And then he collecting so much of these flowers and he dried them even in the winter. Is that flower? And um, then, yeah, he did his meditation. And then finally one day, he felt so good with his meditation. He was completely satisfied. And then he said, oh, you know, my wife was a really nice wife and I want to go back to say thank to her, you know, because she gave me the freedom and I realized my dream. So she went back to the village and she didn't know anyone in this village, you know. And then she met an old lady. Old lady was working on a stick. And then he asked about his family, this old lady said, who are you? Why are you asking about this family? And he said, I, this family is my family. And he says his name. And this old lady looked at him. She says, no, it's impossible. You cannot be my father. Oh. <laughs> That's the Jul famous Julian, <laughs> Julian story. Uh. He took this flower and he rejuvenated. He became younger. And he didn't know the time was passing. You with meditation and chulin, but you know, he didn't know anyone in this village because everyone get old and dead. Even his daughter was old lady. Okay? So that's the most famous Tibetan chulin story. And then, he, then, but it seems maybe when he was meditating, he didn't realize he was rejuvenating, he become younger. But later, of course, coming back to the village, he knew that, and then he wrote book, a book about julian recipe. So this book is this, uh, uh, this uh, flower is a uh, sax branch, Himalayan. Can you write it down? I was looking for this julian in Tibet everywhere, but finally I found this julian. So we have it here if you want to try. Saxifrat, it's called the Tangmu, means uh, the flower who cries all the time. Old time cry crying flower. Okay, it has uh, some legend. You know, there are some stories. I tell you that one. But this uh, the the man's story is very interesting. You know, he discovered some in the nature through the animals, right? Okay, okay so that's the story. Now you know what Julian is, and you know why you are here. And now we do the quickly, uh, we do the typology. Can you go to page number 